going on guys, my hacking review for the Restoration Remix um, Jelly Bean 4.1.2 for the Samsung Galaxy uh, 2 international version for the i9100. This is um, Restoration Remix version uh, 3.1.2. This is off of the AOKP ROM. And uh, I mean, so I mean, so far this ROM is pretty cool. Um, has a lot of tweaks for like you know advanced advanced users for like you know uh, control more of your battery and uh, no other CPU crap and all of this stuff. So this goes beyond your changing your governor and your max CPU and all of this stuff. So I mean it's, it's a lot of tweaks. So it's really meant for an advanced user also. So that's a, that's a very good plus. I don't know how to use it, so I don't really mess with it. But uh, um, straight up ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the lock screen here. You have here you do have an option of eight. Um, of uh, eight uh, app, uh, custom apps here, you can put on your either applications or shortcuts on your lock menu. The only problem I have with this is that the if you try to put a security, uh, for example, like a pattern or something like that, that lock the the lock applications thing goes away. And normally there's a there's a, a setting where you can go ahead and click it, uh, click a um, setting where you can have your your lock screen and your security password together that way when you you slide into your application or shortcut it'll ask you for your password but this one does not have it so that's pretty much um a bummer that i'm pretty that's the only thing that, that bothers me because usually you, know, you want to have your, your stuff secured and yet have the advantage of you know of having the shortcuts in your in your lock menu but i mean it's um it's not a big issue for me because i don't use this one as my primary phone anymore so i just have it around the house um but it's still people who, who do use it every day you know you want to have a, a password in that case if you ever lose your phone you won't get your data stolen or anything like that but you know anyway. anyways um to, i'm dig right into the settings here um as you can see here we have i'm, I'm gonna skip wrong control and go straight into the restoration settings here so we have an updater here oops we have an updater here where you know it gets you updates on the freaking updates for, uh, Restoration Remix, um, kernel performance, this goes more in-depth and more tweaks, what you can do to your system. Um, I'm not going to go all over this because actually we'll, um, I'll just, I'll just skim through it, but I mean, I don't, some of this stuff I don't even, don't even want to mess with it. I mean, you know, you have your max CPU minimum, you have your governor and all that stuff. I just change that within ROM control in the performance area. And then after that, this this goes more in depth. Like GPU also here, and then you have your sound. You can probably control this. You know, headphone amplifier, microphone, and speaker. You can go ahead and change that also. Uh, screen, you know, screen sensitivity, BLN, some miscellaneous stuff here. You can do all this. I mean, the tweaks are just just crazy. You know, you, have, you want to do any dual booting here? Um, I forget what what kernel. I'm, I'll, I'll show you in the settings on the info. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, kernel I'm using Sia kernel so Sia kernel does allow you to have the dual boot option so I mean that's pretty that's pretty awesome too and of course the restoration remix does does do the whole uh, have a has a installation wizard on it so you can choose what you want to install on there also so I mean that, that's also a pretty good thing so if people who want to go more in-depth and in tweaking your 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 phone that's also pretty good it comes with a file manager which is basically just a root man uh, root explorer basically it allows you to change the you know your system files copy system files and move them and you know have permissions and all other stuff I don't like this that much reason why because um, if I go to my SD card, I do have a I have a folder where I have some uh, applications, APKs, as you can see here. Normally, you will see the application logo, and this just replaces with the Cyanogen Mod logo there. So I mean, I don't like that. And plus, I kind of like Root Explorer a little better, um, in my opinion. <clears throat> so let me see here. Um, browser settings, call settings. It does come with a um, you know a, a, a sound. Um, equalizer for your bluetooth speaker and headset which is pretty awesome pretty good that we don't have to go and download anything just so it has one already with your phone um launcher preferences you have your home screen here you can choose your grid size or you can do the whole resize any widget if your widget seems to be too big for uh something you have going on in your screen you can always resize it which is a good plus just check that off and you'll be able to resize um uh, drawer ward that's your your applications and in general uh, auto rotate screen <clears throat> so and this rocket launcher here um as you can see what it's throwing just throwing a bunch of random apps at you if you swipe it it slows it down 
and then if you hit it, if you hit the uh, application, it opens it up. So I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Um, so far, the Wi-Fi works awesome. Bluetooth works great. I transferred a file from my from my phone to my computer. Um, I have not tested the 3G networking. I'm sure it does it does work. It has no no issues on 3G 3G networking yet. So. I'm assuming that's pretty good. Uh, I don't have my SIM card in this phone because I, I upgraded to HCC One X. So, but I'm thinking about maybe trading that phone in or something or trying to get another one because I'm not a big fan of HCC anymore. It's not that great. I should have gotten an S3, but I don't know. <clears throat> so then, sound display, storage, all the same stuff here. You have security. If you go security here, if you're trying to go screen locks, you have it in a slide. If I go into pattern make a pattern here oops make a pattern here confirm it and then there's no option here where I can go ahead and and, and um, you know click saying show my lock screen even in ROM control it doesn't show that so if I go ahead and lock this go back onto it shows my lock screen and that's it nothing else anymore so that's pretty much a that's a bummer I don't like that so security is on right so let's go into ROM control Pretty much the same thing as usual, like the other ones. Uh, your general user interface here, your custom boot animation, disable the you know custom carry. You can write down here so your lock screen. I have that. You, you saw that in the lock screen. Um, you know, just just in, enable the kill all button on your task manager. So if I hold the home button, you have that kill all there instead of just swiping through. <clears throat> Let's see here. So then we have, um, you know, hold back to kill, force, to, uh, you have an enable dual panel here. This is not what you're thinking about the dual panel like the, um, like the Omega ROM. This dual panel here will just make it look like a tablet within the settings. So you have one section, it will be split in half, where one side would be the, um, like the, I guess the selections and the, and the uh, right side would be the options of that, of that menu. So, and here you have 180 degrees, show menu, you know, all the other stuff here, so. Uh, as for lock screen wise, so here quick pin unlock, um, unlock passwords pin, lock screen without pressing the enter button. That just means that you have a pin number, you can go ahead and just put your pin in without pressing the you know the enter button. Uh, use the menu key to unlock the screen. Um, use lock screen wallpaper, text, and then that's about all. It, that's all it has about that. So I, there's no option here where I can choose to have my lock screen and my security password here in the bottom you see the lock screen target mounts um, choose your amount I put eight uh, lock screen targets I can choose you know if I want to go here I can go ahead and choose click that put a shortcut so I can put contacts and then uh, I guess I don't know let's just go say him and say okay and it just goes you know goes to him and calls him I guess all right so Oh, and that's about it. Okay, so and then you have enable weather. You gotta enable your GPS also, and then you have enable your calendar, which is just uh, goes off a of Google Calendar. I believe it just shows it up your your next you know updates or birthdays or whatever you have in your calendar. It shows up in your lock screen. Also, well, pretty good plus. I mean, I don't use Google Calendar anyways, but uh, I mean it's pretty good. And then just pretty much the same thing like the other ROMs here. You have the power menu. You can go ahead and, and you know choose what you want to have in the power menu when you're about to turn off. You hit the power button. It'll show you the little toggles in the bottom for screenshot like stuff like that. Um, so if I hit the power button here like I am now, I'm about to turn it off. I have little toggles down here, and uh, you know I have a mute, vibrate, you no know, more settings up here, stuff like that. So you can control that within the ROM control area. Um, clockwise. Um, and see so your clock style, your AM, PM, you know, right center. Um, as for the battery, I use Circle Mod. You have weather. Um, you see battery. I use Circle Mod always. That's the best one. Uh, colors don't change, I believe. I think maybe they do. Let me see clock. Um, color. Let's just say red or something or pink. There, so it does change. So that's pretty good. Then you have your signal, then you have your sound, weather, vibrations, performance. You can always change your governor and then your current speed and all the other good stuff. So that's pretty much it, you guys. You know, I'm just trying to make this quick because my battery's running low. But, uh, um, like I said, so like, as usual, the uh, link will be down in the description. Just go ahead and follow that. It should take it to my blog and then pick your device. Um, if, <clears throat> if you try to uh, get to a link, if you get an ad, just go ahead and make sure to click the skip ad on the top right and you'll be good to go. 
Uh, I've been getting a lot of stuff where people are like, I don't see the link. There's no link. It's normally because there's an ad there. Just hit the skip ad on the top right. Okay. Uh, so as usual, guys, please like, share, subscribe to this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, throw them down in the comment section below. And um, go ahead and like the fan page on Facebook. And anything um, want to get at me personally and hit me a message, go ahead and hit me on um, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. And uh, I'll get to you guys there. So like I said, I've been trying to get your questions answered as soon as I could. Um, uh, you know, so if you, have a, if you have a question, I don't know. I try to look for it. And then usually I either answer you right back or I forget. So I was just sending a back, you know, a forward, forward message saying like, hey, what's up? You know, what's up with this? <clears throat> so um, that's pretty much it, you guys. So take it easy.